SpaceX is gearing up for important ground tests leading to Starship's second orbital launch attempt next month. So far, July has definitely been a good month for the second Starship flight. Not only has SpaceX started to pour concrete at the site, but it also recently conducted a test of the water cooling deluge system earlier this week. This test was followed up by a pressure test of the super heavy booster that saw its exterior turn frosty after super chilled liquids were poured into its tanks. And most importantly, SpaceX has shared more details about its progress for Starship Flight Test 2. In a tweet made recently, the firm shared images of the first stage booster on its launch pad. Those pictures were taken from an amazing angle showing Booster 9 on the OLM. Since the IFT, or Inaugural Flight Test, and its unplanned excavation, SpaceX has been busy around the clock with repairs and upgrades to the launch mount orbital tank farm and water deluge system. The company is still in the process of repairing the area but has clearly made enough progress to begin testing Booster 9 ahead of its flight test in the coming months. There could be a full test of the system next week as SpaceX has closures scheduled for the 23rd through the 25th and a potential static fire on deck for Booster 9. SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk is also proud to share photos of Ship 25 and Booster 9. He said, next Starship prototype and super heavy booster. There's even more excitement than the first launch this time around. However, it was added that images of the Super Heavy Booster didn't show a venting system on its top, which is crucial for the biggest upgrade that SpaceX is making to its rocket ahead of the second orbital test flight attempt. In fact, Starship Gazer found a new booster hot staging section spotted at Starbase recently. As you can see here, it's different from the design prior. It evidently has less material, but has more more space that could be used to incorporate stringers with the forward section of the booster. They could also do internal stringers and ribs inside the ring similar to the ship aft skirt. This new design also looks better in shape and maybe there's a horizontal brace halfway down. This is closer to looking legitimate. Thanks to the space engineer for this great rendering. This helps us to understand more clearly about the hot stage ring changes. Next, one of the other things that attracted us to the release of the B9 was its engines, which are quite complex to operate, but offer more power and easier maintenance over the Merlin rocket engines used on the Falcon 9. After the first orbital flight attempt, upgrades for the Raptor 2 engine include its hot gas manifold, which handles heated propellant and oxidizers at high pressure before they are fed to the combustion chamber to generate thrust. Leaks in this system affected engine performance, and Musk believes that these changes combined with others significantly increase the probability of Starship making it to orbit this time around. While there is still work to be done ahead of a flight test, this has been quite an incredible pace for SpaceX to repair and begin testing of the launch mount and associated systems. SpaceX's latest application for Starship Communications in Boca Chica to the Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC, lists a start date for the campaign from the 27th of this month. This window will be open for six months and the firm will also need approval from the Federal Aviation Administration before its next test. Test. SpaceX has joined forces with the FAA in a lawsuit brought forward by nonprofits who argue that the agency acted improperly in its review of the Boca Chica test site. While the second orbital flight is ramping up, SpaceX is also working on future prototypes. That's right, Starship 28 was moved to Massey's test site for cryo testing. After a rather brief encounter with Booster 10 here, the couple had to say goodbye as SpaceX brought B 10 back to the production site for engine in installation. Previously, Booster 10 has experienced a cryogenic proof test. To recount, S25 and B9 are almost ready, S28 and B10 are beginning testing, and S29 and B11 are almost done with production. Aside from that, the true architectural marvel, Mega Bay 2, is also reaching the home stretch. Its looming presence promises a significant breakthrough 
and space exploration being the future rocket factory capable of mass-producing starships. With only one section left to complete its towering structure, its construction speed is truly impressive. To prepare for this, the LR-11000 was laid down in advance, with extensions to be fitted later. They're moving quite fast at Starbase. But obviously, compliments will never be enough to truly express the greatness that is SpaceX. This company is having an outstanding year with its workhorse Falcon 9 rocket boasting 49 launches currently in the books. They're also making remarkable progress in Starship development and it appears it will generate significant revenue by year's end. According to the information, SpaceX has informed investors that it anticipates bringing in 8 billion US dollars in revenue in 2023, doubling its earnings from 2022. This substantial increase in valuation positions the company well above its competitors, making it one of the most highly valued private companies in the US. The recent sale of its shares on the secondary market at $81 has bolstered investor interest, resulting in a valuation of $150 billion. This surge in investment is largely attributed to the rapid growth of the space industry in recent years. SpaceX aims to launch 100 Falcon 9 rockets this year, highlighting the soaring demand for heavy lift launches to orbit. However, a considerable portion of these missions will be for Starlink satellites. Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet service, holds promising potential for generating substantial revenue in the near future. Presently, the service boasts 1.5 million subscribers who pay at least $120 monthly for residential access, with higher fees for other product tiers. With over 4,000 satellites of various types currently in orbit, SpaceX has become the largest satellite operator globally. It is believed that Starlink is Elon Musk's key to funding a Mars colony as well as the development of the Starship rocket that will make such endeavors possible. However, this ambitious plan comes with significant costs, as SpaceX plans to invest $2 billion solely on Starship development in 2023 alone, impacting their overall profits. Combining this with other expenses, the information states that SpaceX will make approximately $3 billion in operating profits this year. Starship, once a small-scale project, has grown into a major undertaking for SpaceX in South Texas, employing over a thousand personnel in the Brownsville area. And for the last bit of today's news, China's Shenzhou-16 astronauts just completed their first spacewalk. A pair of Chinese Taikonauts, or astronauts, just performed the first spacewalk of the Shenzhou-16 mission. Jinghai Peng and Zhu Zhangzhu completed their approximately 8-hour extravehicular activity, or EVA, outside the Tiangong Space Station on July 20th. According to the China Manned Space Engineering Office, or CMSEO, Shenzhou-16 crewmate Gui Haichao assisted operations from inside the Tiangong using the space station's robotic arm. CMSEO advised of the upcoming activity on Wednesday, July 19th, stating that the spacewalk would take place in the near future. Who knew it was going to be the next day? The EVA was not broadcasted, and it was announced only after the astronauts safely returned to Tiangong. Chinese state media outlet Xinhua reported that Jing and Zhu completed a variety of tasks, including the installation and lifting of the support frame for a panoramic camera outside Tiangong's Tianhe core module, and unlocking and lifting two panoramic cameras outside the Meng Tian experiment module. Mission Commander Jing Haipeng is currently on a national record fourth trip to space, but this was his first ever spacewalk. Zhu is the first of China's flight engineer astronauts to embark on an EVA. Shenzhou-16 launched on May 30th, and it is the fifth spaceflight mission to visit Tiangong during its construction and operational phases. Well, folks, that wraps up our show for today. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, Keep looking up.